Hello again, somebody asked me in the comment section if it's possible to boot GameCube backups without of course having a mod chip or hard modding as they call it the GameCube itself, because I mean if you don't have a soldering skill or you don't want to open up any kind of console uh, then this could be an alternative method and the answer is of course yes, you can do this uh, I've tried it in the past but today I prefer the mod chip and if I'm going to run homebrew like emulators that's all I'd really use it for. So the method that you use is uh, a homebrew utility that basically overrides or takes control of the disk drive and will allow you to read the DVD backups. Um, if you want to know how to burn those, well you go over to the video I have on burning GameCube games. I believe the mic quality is terrible but I apologize for that in advance. Anyways, um, so the old method that you used to use for this, to boot the homebrew that would allow you to do this, was the action replay method, and you would get a disc, and you would put in the action replay, and you would program these millions upon millions of codes in there to finally like get through to <laughs> reading the SD card. But uh, you no longer have to do that anymore. They, the same company who makes, um, what's it? I just said it, ac action replay has come up with something called the SD Media Launcher and pretty much um, this is the best alternative you want to boot homebrew. For anyone who actually already has a mod chip, this is also great for loading homebrew like I just said. Um, I will have a link as to where you can get the homebrew launcher, the SD Media Launcher software itself, and then you can just burn that to a disk. And if you are a mod chip user already, well now you have an ability to boot homebrew. Anyway, so once you have bought this, um, you're pretty much ready to go, you're just going to need an SD card. And yeah, so let's get to work on that. So you're going to want to download what is called GCOS, and basically, I don't know what it stands for, but it will allow you to run your backup games uh, on the GameCube without having to have the mod chip. Um, so you'd put this on the SD card and then run it. So there's two versions of GCOS. There's GCOS 1.5 and there's GCOX whatever it is, beta. And <laughs> they're pretty much both the same. I would recommend the stable version, so I'm only going to give you a link to the stable version and I'm turning away from my computer as it gets really loud. Oh my lord. Anyways, so what you want to do is you want to just simply download it, take the file, plug in your SD card, and then drag and drop it right into there, and there you're done. You can eject your SD card, don't mind any of this, this is just some other homebrew I have. Um, it'll just be blank, it doesn't matter what's on it, it can be perfectly blank. <clears throat> just drag and drop it onto here, then eject your SD card and we'll go over to the camera side of things. All right, so over here on the camera side of things, um, I've got the SD card I just ejected, and we're just gonna plug it into the GameCube. Uh, it should have come with a little adapter. Uh, they're generally black, but I like this one better. And you just plug it in and put it into the memory card slot. I like memory card slot too, because then it's non-intrusive. And there you go. Take out any disc that you have, it's a bit dark down there, but uh, you can probably see it. And I'm just going to open this up here. And take your SD Media Launcher disc, that should have come with the package as well. Or if you are a mod chip user and you just want to boot homebrew, well then you, <laughs> you put it under the disc like that. Put her in. And boot up the GameCube. And now the CRT, <laughs> need to get a new TV, but CRTs shall do the job. Right, so after the GameCube boots up, you should see something like this. It will lag on in. And uh, the first thing you should see is GCOS, but because I have other stuff on here, it isn't. So you want to scroll down to it, just press A. It will boot up. You'll come to a little logo, yeah there it is, logo will come up, won't focus, there you go, it'll just say please wait, and then you'll come to this weird looking, very DOS looking menu, and uh, you want to just go to boot game, you don't worry about anything, uh, if you're only intending to boot the games, then just go to boot game, you can press A here, and uh, then it'll ask you to, god the camera's being weird, 
place a GameCube game into the disk drive, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And it probably won't work because I do indeed have a mod chip. So it's like double patching it here. But we will see. Let's see if it works. I don't think mine's going to work because it, I already have a mod chip, but it should work. And there you go, you'll come this, and you can click uh, A, pretty much. You just press A, because you you don't need to worry about any of the region stuff. Just press A and let it deal with it, and it'll bring it up to this screen here. This screen here, what am I talking about? This is just a game. So as you can see, the game is loading, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you get a disk reader, the media is not supported, well, you'd better go hot tweak the GameCube because I had that issue first off too. Um, there's a video on how to pot tweak the GameCube, another failure of a mic video, but uh, you might as well go check that one out. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Uh, if this was a little <laughs> hard to understand, please let me know. All criticism is appreciated. Good day.